Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Before we get into today's video, I want to let everybody know I will be live this Wednesday, April 17th at 7 p.m. Eastern. That's 6 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, on my channel live for a live jewelry auction, okay? Solo sale, it's just gonna be myself and Kyle moderating. So join me on Wednesday. I will leave the direct link in the description box so you can click it and set your notification. Okay, so today's video, we're gonna do a battle of the boxes. I got two thread up, 15 piece mixed jewelry boxes, rescue boxes, and they're each from a different location. So we're gonna open them both and we're gonna see which one is better. Okay, so I am going to be selling everything in this video. So here are the ordering instructions on how to do so. This will be a number video, so you will have to email me with the number of the, of the item and a brief description so I can invoice you correctly. A lot of you guys get the numbers wrong. Please check the sold list in the comment section. You have to refresh the video after you're watching it to see the most up-to-date list. If you know how to refresh the website to get a thread up, to try to get a thread up rescue box, you know how to refresh a YouTube video, okay? So check that sold list. You'll know if something's available. If you check the list, it'll be in the comment section. Since today is a new week, I can hold your purchases for the current week. You have to be, you have to have your items paid for as you go, and the shipping will be invoiced at the end of the week. If you don't advise me to hold your items, I'll add shipping and ship your items. So please let me know so that I, you can save, since I have a live auction on Wednesday and then my purse sale on Friday, um, you can just pay for the items and then at the end of the week I can send you one combined shipping invoice and ship everything together. Okay, so all that information is all also down in the description box. We have two boxes, one, two boxes. So um, you guys can't see the whole thing because I'm too close. So I'm going to back up and we're going to start with the first box, which is right here. This one is from Phoenix, Arizona. The other one is from Swanee, Georgia, which is crazy because I live in New York. You would think I would get the ones from Pennsylvania, right? Anyway, so we're going to open it up. We're going to see what we got. And then we're going to see if one box was better than the other. First up, though, I want to offer you guys, in case anyone um, is interested in these Tiffany bags, um, I will be offering these for sale. So I have two that are the same. I have the I have two um, drawstring bags. Um, th and it has like a little divider in there. So I have one. This one just has the knot missing. You'll just have to knot that back at the end. So this one that is unknotted um, will be $5.00. Okay, so just let me know you want the unknotted one. This one that is in better condition, a little bit of better condition than the other one, will be $6. So this will be um, Tiffany bag number two for $6, knotted on both sides. And then I have a little Tiffany, um, like a little ring or earring pouch. And this one will be $5. Just say you want the snap pouch for $5, okay? All right, so let's get into this box. Let's get into the first box. I'm going to cut it open. So now this is the 15 piece jewelry, which means that it's going to be, the items are going to be in, in better condition than what's in the 15, uh, five pound jewelry rescue box. And um, there shouldn't be anything missing or broken. It's like the curated lot. It can be found on threadup.com under rescues. There's no rhyme or reason for when they release the boxes. You just have to keep checking the website. Um, I ordered this on April 3rd. So this one came from April 3rd. 
and these boxes run $54 plus tax and shipping. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, we have all 15 pieces. So let's move you guys over here. And then we will start with the first piece. Okay. This looks like glass, glass beaded necklace. Um, there's no maker mark on this and it's not sterling, but these are very pretty glass beads. They are blue with a little bit of gold in there, clear with the blue and a little bit of gold. Let's open up the necklace and give you a total length measurement. It has an extender, so it can go from 17 to 20 inches. 17 to 20 inches. And this is number one. And we will do that for $8. That is really pretty. And that's gonna be a great necklace for the spring and summer. Love that blue and gold. Okay. The bags are great because I'm literally reusing them. All right, so this is a very long necklace. It has a very big textured silver tone pendant and then a black cord. This is probably Chico's, yeah, Chico's. It's in very good condition. It's, like I said, very long. It's an 18 inch drop to the pendant and then 22 inches drop total. And there is an extender if you wanted to use it. So this one is number two. And we will also do this for $8. Very nice, very nice condition. Um, Chico's is very expensive in the store. So for $8 for Chico's, a very large Chico's no less, get yourself a deal. So that's number two, Chico's for eight. Oop, I grabbed two on accident, so we'll look at one first. One at a time. So these feel like stones, so I'm gonna turn on Pressy, my Presidium gem tester, and we will see if these are um, amethyst or maybe just quartz or jade. And then we're gonna look at these ear wires. I don't see any markings. They're not magnetic, but I don't think they're gold. Might be just like a mixed metal of some sort. You always wanna check both the earrings because sometimes it might only be marked on one earring. But I don't see any markings on these at all. Okay. So let's... Okay. And you always want to wait a second for it to. Okay, these are definitely jade. It is. Oh, you didn't. You couldn't see that. Sorry. They are j definitely jade, or maybe you did. I don't. Sometimes I, it gets cut off up here. But these are really pretty. Um, like I said, I think they're just gold tone. So I will do a little measurement for you in case you need to know how long it'll hang from the ear, one and a half inches. So on the jade earrings, number three, and we will do those for, let's do, actually let's do those for eight also. I was gonna say 10, but let's, let's do a deal. Number three, 
for the Jade Beautiful. Okay, now these. All right, these are acrylic. They are green and silver tone, but in very good condition. They hang an inch and three fourths from the ear. Pretty. So these are going to be number four. And we'll do those for $4. Four on four. All right, so so far there's nothing um, too exciting, but we shall see. Okay, branded goods and supplies since 1982. I don't know, I guess that's the brand, goods and supplies. Um, I mean, it's in okay condition, it might need some cleaning. And the stretch is good, but it seems a little small. So let's see, it sits at six and a half without stretching it, and these our glass. So we will do that. That's number five. And we will do that for $5. Five on five. Okay, so next up we have loft. Ooh, are these all glass? I think these are all stone, let me see. Oh yeah, that's a quartz. Okay, so these are all quartz. Mm -hmm. What is a video without a Dallas growl, right? So these are all quartz, this is beautiful. All different colors, very pale colors, but very pretty. And then you have your branding loft right there and you do have a little bit of an extension without it it's a nine inch drop excellent condition loft quartz necklace number six and we'll do that for eight dollars beautiful uh -huh. <clears throat> Now this, I'm a little disappointed at because, I mean, these the, this 15 piece box is supposed to be like better jewelry and this is kind of just like a plain old bangle. Not that it's ugly or anything, but there is a little bit of wear, teeny little bit of wear to the gold tone on the edges. It is a size six and a half and it opens like so. So um, it's number seven. It has a teeny tiny bit of wear, so we'll just do $4 on it. $4 for number seven. And actually, I like the wave to it, though, because that's what it would look like on. So it's kind of a cool little wave bangle clamper. Number seven for $4. Ooh, we have Brighton, okay. So that's looking looking better, looking better. Very pretty. It is definitely um, the same on both sides, so it doesn't matter which way you wear it, which is cool. It is in very good condition with the um, extender. And it is a eight inch drop without the extender. So you have the Brighton, very pretty, double sided, number eight, and we will do that for $14. Beautiful. $14, number eight. 
see, like this, like I wouldn't consider this a better piece of jewelry. Look at that. All, all the gold tone is gone on the clasp and the extender and on the jump ring and on the jump rings in between. So this is not cool. <laughs> Um, I'm just going, going to offer this for a dollar. So this is number nine, and it will be one dollar in case somebody wanted to use the actual green pieces for um, repurposing. That was kind of a bummer for sure. Okay, so we have one little rhinestone that fell off, so that's not a good start. This is a Kenneth Cole, and oh, I'm not even sure where it came out of, maybe right here. So I can just kind of, you know, put a dab of glue and put that right back in there. That's not a big deal. It's got like blue and gray in here. Honestly, you can't even notice it, that it's missing. I just see a teeny itty bitty piece of glue right there, so I'm assuming that it came from there. But there's your KC for Kenneth Cole. Other than that, the necklace is in a, a, you know amazing condition. It's got an extender. It is an eight inch drop. It's got the two strand. So I will definitely fix that, no problem. Number 10. And we'll do that for $6. All right, so let me put that right back in here so I can put a little dab of glue in there later. And it's a really pretty necklace. So it's number 10, six bucks. Okay, this might be a J. Crew, possibly. It is. So there is very little wear on the clasp, but it's very, 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 very minor. And a teeny little bit of color loss back here, but that's toward the back. Other than that, it looks great. I think all the stones are here. It's a clear stone, so you can really wear this with any color. And then it does have an extender. Without it, the drop is eight and a half inches. So slight wear, it, it'll be, it probably won't even be noticeable because it's that slight. So number 11, and we'll do that, um, we'll just do for eight bucks. If this was in perfect condition, I would charge probably around 14 or so for this. So $8, number 11. Okay. All right, uh, this looks like it might be 1928. Let's see. Yep, 1928 brand. This looks really pretty. Very dainty, beautiful. Look at that, I love the clear stone. It'll literally go with everything. Really cool chain link. Got some texture on it also, which is really, really cool. Screw barrel clasp and then your hang tag. Gorgeous. And that's how, if there's no hang tag, that's how you'll know it's 1928 brand. It has the swirls on the back. Gorgeous necklace. Eight inch drop, no extender. This is a really great like Victorian revival type of piece. Beautiful. And it's number 12. And we will do it for, let's do $8. That seems to be the going rate of this video. Excellent condition. Number 12. All right, now we got, let's see. I can bring the rest of the pieces down now that we have, you know, a smaller amount. This looks interesting. Altered State, okay, I have heard of this brand. Um, a portions of, portion of the proceeds donated to feed, clothe, and educate children. 
All right, so that says it's a semi-precious stone. Oops, wait, what happened here? Oh, okay, got it. So that's really cool. Is this like a fossil? Or it kind of looks like something from under the sea, like with all these little like crustacean type things. I don't know. <laughs> you guys can, oh, it was backwards. <laughs> ah, feel free to laugh at me, it's fine. Hey, that side is pretty cool too. I'm not even gonna edit that part out, so that's fine. Okay, that's a much prettier side. <laughs> that's a much prettier side. So we got a Druzy here in like a blue shimmer. Very pretty, <laughs> even prettier. <laughs> All right. So it is a long necklace. Let me get it untwisted and then we will get a measurement. Um, there's not really a, I mean, there is an extender, but this type of chain you can literally clasp anywhere. So where it's sitting right now, it's about a 14 drop, 14 inch drop, but you can literally make that, you know, whatever drop you want. That type of chain is really great for clipping anywhere. So number 13 for the altered state, and we will do that for $8. $8, number 13. All right. Gold tone chain, I don't know, I don't think I mentioned that. All right, let's keep going. So, so far, nothing really special. This is Sequin. So not a super expensive brand, but you know, decent. We'll, we'll look at it. We got some black beads. Are they glass? I don't think so. I don't think so. And then they come down to this little, little dainty tassel with some rhinestones. Very pretty. So it is long. It does have a um, clasp with an extender. So I'm sure you can double this. And it is 17 inches on the drop. 17 inches on the drop, not including the extender. And for the sequin necklace, number 14, guess what? Let's do it for $8. That's, that's a really nice one. This can even dress up like a really simple outfit. Really, really pretty. All right, and last but not least, we have a watch. All right, this is a Polini. Never heard of it. But it's got the mesh band. Let's see if we can find any information about this brand really fast on eBay. So it's P-O-L-I-N-I -I watch. Okay, so the, the listed ones are you know between 10 and 15 dollars for the most part let's see the um solds well those are lots so we don't want to include lots so yeah there it's probably around that so you know what i will um change the battery if i can get the battery that's just a little like a sticker that was on there um, if I can change the battery and get it running I will put a price on the screen for you and it will be number 15 okay so I'll move that over here to make sure I work on that and that was the end of box number one so let's put the order instructions up on the screen really fast again and I will get the second box. So let me just finagle everything over here. Okay. Let's take that away. Let's put the box here so you can see it. 
This one is from Swanee, Georgia. Okay, um, and let's cut into this one. So let's start. This one is actually taped up a lot better than the other one. All right, let me just move it down here so I can, jeez. Wow, all right. I got it. There's the receipt. Here we go. All right, so I ordered this one on April 8th. So the other one, remember, was April 3rd. And this is April 8th from Swanee, Georgia. Same price. All right, let me put you down a little bit. And we got the paper. Oh, we got some we got some air pillows in here that I'll be reusing. And definitely the tissue. Okay. I don't think we're gonna be able to count this one um, completely, but we'll keep going, we'll just roll with it because it's all wrapped up, probably a few together. So we'll just start. And let's see what we got first. Come on. All right, so first one up, I always save these bags. Oh, it's a Madewell. So that is, that is a Madewell piece with the M. And, um, hold on a second. Dallas. Okay, this is really, really pretty. This is one of those necklaces that you can shorten. It's almost like a bow tie. No. Not bow tie. Bow tie? I don't know. Where you can um, pull this up, make it a little shorter around the neck, or pull it down and have it a little bit longer. But it's very pretty, and it's in very good condition, and that's abalone. So um, I'll give you the total drop of the entire necklace, which is 20 inches. And you can kind of make it, you can kind of push this up and down wherever you would like. So first one from this box is number 16. I'm gonna have to get a few bags. And we're gonna do that for $12. Number 16, $12. Okay, very pretty, love it. All right, next up we have, this looks like bourbon and bow tie already. Let me just fix it a little bit, there we go. This is bourbon and bow tie. So they put real stones on their jewelry, so this is probably a, a quartz. It does have a little teeny chip on the back over here. But other than that, it looks good. Um, eight inches, and this is a beautiful, almost like, it looks like clouds. It's got like the clear and the blue. Let me move down a little bit. So for the bourbon and bow ties, it is number 17. And we'll do that for $6. go okay here's another piece oh these are these look fun are these earrings oh it's I think it's broken um, okay I get it this was the back so these these had that closure that you can also um, well, the, oh my gosh, I'm not even in screen. You can, you close the back like this. So it looks like one was already missing and someone just used regular backs for them. And this is bent, but that, 
I'll have to fix that a little bit better. Um, so really that's fine because you can use the back, like a regular back, but it does stink that it is, it's broken and they still gave it to you. <laughs> um, but very cool earrings. Look at these. They almost don't even fit in the shot here. So this is like, um, a shell, Abalo um, mother of pearl shell. This is acrylic, but it's really cool because it's got like the glitter in it acrylic blue and then the peach so really cool even though the back is broken you can still use the regular post backs and these measure in at five and a quarter length very very cool very interesting number 18 and we are going to do those i'm just going to do them for five Okay, number 18, five dollars. Let's get rid of that. I love these bubble bags, so I definitely reuse these as well. All right, so we got three pieces in this one. So let's look at the ring. I barely ever get rings here. And this looks like it would be nephrite, so let's Turn back on Pressy, so we'll look at this one instead until Presidium warms up again. Um, I don't see any maker on this one. Hmm, I wonder if we can take a Google image search of this and see what exactly this brand could be. Here we go. It's this one. So $29.99 on sale for $24.99. And it is in good condition. It just might need a little, little wipe down, but that's really cool and it is pliable. So you can open it up a little bit to get in there. It is a size six and three fourths without um, bending it at all, okay? So this is number 19. And we'll do that for, let's do it for $8, okay? And it's got little rhinestones in the, head part, the nail of the head part. So number 19, $8. And then let me see. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. There we go. So I would, I would say it kind of was going in and out. And then we got glass. So I would say nephrite and glass. Um, let me move you guys up because you're probably seeing my table here. I don't know what I'm doing with this setup here today. It does say something in here. What does that say? Taiwan. That says Taiwan. Let me just look with my own eye. Yeah, that says Taiwan. Okay, I don't think it's, yeah, it's not precious metal, but it is uh, semi-precious stones. So where's my ring mandrel? Here we are. It is a size five and a quarter. Beautiful. Doesn't quite fit there. Um, I will do, okay, so this is number 20. And I will do that for, let's do it for, all right, um, let's, 
Let's do it for $8. We'll stick with the eights here. It's in really, really good condition. Okay, then we have this. This is a little set of bangles made in China. Um, there's six and they're in really good condition. They're like almost like a little braided twist thing going on, but they're flat. They measure in at eight inches, eight inches. So for the set of silver tone bangles, we will do $5. I mean, are we gonna get something good or what? <laughs> All right, something like really good, I should say. Let's see, J. Crew, okay. And you guys want to look up these J. Crew necklaces. Some of them are like a more rare design, um, so you definitely want to do like a Google image search, uh, especially these bigger ones. Um, I'm just checking because sometimes the clear ones you can't tell they're actually gone, but I think they are all here. There is, actually I don't see any wear on this one, so this one's good. We're good on this one. Let's do a quick um, Google image in case maybe we got, a, got lucky here, but. Okay, so it's, that one's listed for 28. Let's see what this Poshmark seller has it for. 18, okay, so not, a super rare one. Um, it has an extender. Where's my measuring? Here's the measuring, Jeez Louise. Um, it measures in an eight inch drop. Um, I will include the dust bag if you, you know, if you would like it. It's there, I'm gonna include it. So number 22, and I will get a little post-it. Number 22 is going to be $12 for the J. Crew. Okay? I don't want to write it on the bag because that's not very nice. Okay. Let's see where we're at now. We got these two bags left. Jeez, I can't even get into it. Okay, there we go. Save that. All right, what do we got going on here? I wonder if they're including this as all one item or all separate. We'll have to do a count at the end. All right, so this is by Express. These are nice boho, pretty um, pink um, feather gold tone earrings, new on card, $28 retail. Um, I mean, it's in good condition. It's just a little, that's eh, fine. So number 23 for the express earrings. And let me, I'm trying to find a bigger bag. We will do those for $5. So $5, number 23, I'm gonna put them in the bag this way so that they don't get their feathers ruffled any more than they were. Okay, five bucks, number 23. Okay, Sea Wonder, pretty good brand. Um, $28 on the back, let's just see. Because these remind me of the Kate Spade gumdrop studs. They are just acrylic though, in a really pretty green. Number 24, and we'll do those for five bucks. Number 24, $5. Oh, I see some Kendra Scotts right there. Woohoo! All right, so these, though, are really cool. These are a um, acrylic, almost like a little faux um, tortoise shell, but I like the backs. How cool is that? A gold tone little ball as the back. 
I do not see any branding though. They definitely need a cleaning, that's for sure. But pretty cool little hoops. So we'll roll with those, number 25. And we'll do those for $5 as well. All right. Okay, so we have some sterling silver with crystallized Swarovski elements. Very nice. So they have that little bit of Aurora Borealis on there too. Very pretty from Kohl's, $25. So we will do those for number 26. And we'll do those since they are um, sterling silver. We will do those for $8. $8, number 26. Sterling silver and clear Swarovski crystal with a little bit of that AB coating. All right, let's look at the Kendra Scotts. Ooh, these are pretty. Okay, so Kendra Scott, excellent brand, beautiful matte gold tone bar earrings. And you guys, oh yeah, you can see it a little bit. This is like a, a mother of pearl, white mother of pearl in there. Gorgeous. Um, I wonder if I would be able to Google image search this. Let's see. Because Kendra likes to name her pieces. Yeah, so these are the Lady Gold. Lady Gold, we have one listed for 35 and one for 40. So um, they are in really, really good condition. They are really nice. So these are number 27. I'm not gonna charge you anywhere near that. We will just do 20 bucks, okay? So it's $15 cheaper than the one we just saw online. Number 27 for 20 bucks. And then we had these. So these are like a light brown beige, gold tone uh, hoop, but it has a hook back. No maker marks, but they are in good condition. Number 28. And we will do those for $5. $5, number 28. All right, and then we got this bag. Okay, oh, we're stuck on the sticky there. All right, that's it in that one. All right, so. We'll look at this first. This, I'm trying to get it straight here. Okay, so it is a, just a pop over the head, silver tone mesh chain. Then you have the knot here, and then you have two long um, tassels. Okay, um, it's all in good condition. Let's get a measurement. The drop to the knot is an 11 inch drop. The whole thing is a 29 inch drop, okay? So we will do this one. This is number 29. And we will do that for, I do see a teeny little bit of discoloration on the balls here. It's not anything major. We'll just do that. We'll just do this necklace for five dollars. Five bucks, number twenty-nine. I mean, I don't even know if I'm making a profit or not. I mean, these pieces really aren't anything special. So this is eleven ninety-nine, Louisa. It is a rose gold tone necklace that got there. We go. These are acrylic, but it's like a cloudy pink. You have rhinestones all the, way, all the way around, and then you have the tassel. Really pretty. I don't see an extender. Let me get you the drop measurement. 13 inches to the pendant, 
and then another seven inches. So 13 inch drop. And this is number 30. And we will do that for, let's do it for six. It's brand new on card and really, really pretty. Rose gold color, number 30 for six bucks. Okay, so that was everything. Let's count really fast for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So they did count each of those earrings as one each. Okay. So now that I've completely messed up the order of these. <laughs> All right, so what'd you guys think? Honestly, I wasn't too impressed with either box. Um, I do think that um, the Swanee Georgia, which was this one that we just did, was better because it had the Sterling earrings and the Kendra Scott earrings. So let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section. Was your favorite Phoenix, Arizona, which was the first box, or Swanee, Georgia, which was the second box? All right, and here are the ordering instructions one more time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe right down here. It's free, and we'll see you in the next one.